Hello everyone, I am Baron Dipidus and welcome to another Legend Lore Chat in the Brahala Lore YouTube channel. Today, oh boy, today we have Artemis, the answer. Seems like a weird title for Artemis, but, um, but uh, I think Orion's title used to be like the Enigma or something. I, I don't know where I kept, keep finding that, the Mysterious Stranger. But uh, anyway, the answer. She didn't, even, she didn't even stop to tell me her diabolical plan. One second, we were waiting for the usual monologue, and the next, my entire fleet was just gone. Lance Star Champion. Destroying Orion isn't the only thing I want to do. But yeah, that's the main thing. Artemis. I wish I had, like, a voice changer on me to kind of make a cool voice, a really cool voice for Artemis, but... Say la vie. Anyway, as the story goes... Philosophers sometimes talk about the will of the universe, a consciousness above that of even the gods. We may never know if the universe has a will, but we do know it has an, an immune response. When foreign matter streaked over the skies of Valhalla, the response was an antibody of celestial proportions. As the name Orion was spoken, Artemis came into being, although she would not call herself that for many years. Born Mary Washington in West Plaza, New York, she was a voracious reader with a love for strawberry ice cream. While Mary had a relatively normal childhood, her parents sometimes wondered why she would stare silently into the night sky for hours, or read stories of the goddess Artemis killing the hunter Orion over and over again. Mary was too eager to confront her opponent. At the first sign of her powers manifesting, she opened a wormhole intending to stride into Valhalla. Instead, she emerged in the vacuum of space. Struggling for survival, she fought to maintain a cocoon of atmosphere siphoned from nearby worlds. In desperation, she ripped the core from a nearby star to forge her armor, extinguishing her first solar system. From there, she traversed the dangers of the universe, careening through the Trinova, ending Star Champion's fleet, and imploding the Leviathan of, a of Eons, to name a few. Once ready, the completed Artemis arrived in Asgard. In Valhalla, Artemis is still subject to the rules of local gods and tries to complete her destiny in the tournament itself. Sensing a common frustration, Nyx has taken her under her wing and the two often spar, spar to hone their scythe skills. As Orion's reputation grows in the arena, Artemis wonders if all, Asgard, if all of Asgard might be too infected to save. Connections no mention of Artemis in other Legends lore pages have yet been found, but, oh man, the connection between Artemis and Orion is probably the largest, like, topic of debate in Brahalla lore. And, I mean, intentionally so. I don't think BMG has the answers. They, want, they like to keep doors open, as I've said in, in an earlier video. But, in any case, uh, the video about the email from BMG... But in any case, I love the concept of Artemis. I think Artemis is really, really cool. Uh, the fact that... And uh, clearly BMG created Artemis as the foil to Orion. Whether Orion is good or evil it remains to be seen, but we know that Artemis is the opposite of whatever Orion is. Some of the language of Artemis' lore does paint her to be more evil. Lance Star Champion, in it, at any rate, sees her as evil like diabolical plan, waiting for the usual monologue, that sort of thing. Um, if Artemis considers Asgard to be too, quote-unquote, infected to save, then she would want to destroy Asgard, which would make her essentially a villain to the Asgardians and to in, in Brawlhalla in general, because Asgard is kind of important in, in Brawlhalla. <clears throat> but, um, but yeah, I've often wondered why, why would Orion, like, Orion's reputation growing... That infects Asgard, I guess. Still, I, I think the best, as I said before several times, the best theory I've found was Defensive's theory that Orion is a male Valkyrie from, a, from an alternative timeline and somehow made it to this one. And therefore, the universe, sensing a foreign body um, in Orion, um, kind of created Artemis. Uh, Artemis was born like a, like a normal human woman, but... Uh, human girl, but kind of like Captain Marvel, um, she got, or maybe like some other superheroes, she was born with powers. Captain Marvel, sorry, yeah, Captain Marvel like got her powers later, but anyway, 
Artemis was born with abilities that she discovered later on in life. Um, pretty impressive stuff. Her armor is made from a star. Um, and like destroying several things. Uh, the Trinova, I wasn't sure exactly what the Trinova would be. Um, a Nova though, plural form Nova, is defined as a star that suddenly gets very bright and then slowly returns to its original state over the course of a few months. Not to be confused with the supernova, which is a star that suddenly gets very bright because a huge explosion blew it apart. A nova is just kind of... Um, nova means new star, and it just looks like a new star in the night sky, but it's really just a star that became very bright all of a sudden. So what does this mean here? So a trinova is... Um, assuming that it could be the phenomenon of like... Um, a group of three stars that could be considered unusual enough to be considered a landmark. So if there are three stars involved in like a nova event, then it could be called the trinova, right? Um, anyway, the uh, in Lance Star Champion's fleet, I've talked about Lance Star Champion in uh, Orion and Brax's lore, uh, the videos about Orion and Brax's lore. Um, Lance Star Champion, I think is probably just some sort of like, I don't know, Luke Skywalker or something. Um, but clearly not a legend enough to be in the top here. It'd be cool to have Lance Star Champion as a legend here in the Brawlhalla, but if he is an Asgard, he's not great enough to be considered one of the 46 legends now that we have here. Leviathan of Eons, I think that's really cool, the idea that there's this giant space monster. The, uh, Leviathan was originally a sea monster, by the way, referred to several times in the Bible. Um, often used to describe the powers of evil and how God would subdue it and that kind of thing. So, um, I think the Leviathan is just some sort of great old one. Maybe uh, almost Cthulhu or Lovecraftian, uh, Cthulhu-esque or Lovecraftian creature. But um, Artemis imploded it, whatever it is. So, there's that. Um, what else? Yeah, so could Artemis actually be like the reincarnation of the Greek goddess Artemis? I mean, I don't really think so, but I mean, Apollo exists, so anyway, I don't know. Um, also, where did she get the name Artemis? Did she like give herself that name, I guess? I, I think she probably did because she knows her purpose, right, to destroy Orion. It's not the only thing she wants to do, but it is the main thing, destroying Orion. So I guess she probably gave herself the name Artemis. Um, so people have tried to look at Greek mythology to see whether Orion is a good bad guy or a bad guy. Sources actually vary on, on the relationship between Artemis and Orion in Greek mythology. One, one source says they're lovers, another source says they're just good, good friends. Um, probably the most relevant source um, story says that Orion uh, killed some monster or something like that. that or. Uh, uh, somehow she she uh, he made Artemis, the goddess Artemis, upset. And so Artemis sent a scorpion to kill Orion. So from Artemis' perspective, Orion would be evil. Although he wasn't necessarily inherently evil. So, <clears throat> um, scythe and lance are interesting choices for weapons, I gotta say. Don't know why she would have a scythe, especially since Artemis was a huntress deity. So bow would be a better fit, I guess. Uh, we don't have a bow lance legend so far, I don't think. But, uh, I mean, it is cool that Nyx and Artemis work together to um, ch um, practice their side skills. Um, the lance does make more sense to me, though, given that she's meant to be a foil to Orion. Usually opposites and rivals actually have a lot in common, except for, like, one or two crucial details that are different. It makes sense to me that the, the enigma, the question, Orion, and the answer, Artemis, share a common weapon. Um, Artemis! Not sure about side though. Um, it's not quite clear why she knows that weapon, but um, in any case, she she's able to control antimatter. I'm I'm guessing like all this purple, this purple stuff. Does that? I mean, she can open wormholes. I guess she was able to open. Although it wasn't very accurate the first time she opened wormholes. She was trying to get to Valhalla and she didn't make it. Also, her sigs have some odd spacing to them, which is kind of cool. But yeah, um, you can see kind of like how she manipulates matter, dark matter or antimatter, whatever the heck this is. Um, oh, I don't remember this person, but maybe this time they will win against me, I guess. 
I don't care either way. Okay. I think Petra is really cool too, by the way. Every time I play Lance or Hammer, I, I keep I keep thinking of like um, Scarlet Sigs, but they're not. I need to stop doing that. I'm so used to uh, Scarlet signatures. Ah, dang it! But I assume that all the Lance Lance uh, Sigs are similar, but they're not. Not at all. Decent with gauntlets, I gotta say. Well, you certainly have practiced your gauntlet combos, I gotta say. Good job. Pretty good. Showing me up a bit. I don't think I have anything more to say about Artemis, really. Artemis is just... Oh! Nice! You're probably still gonna beat me. Brawlhalla uh, does seem to lag when I use OBS. Because it usually doesn't have this kind of lag when I... Uh, when I play it. So... Nice. Well done. When I'm when I'm losing like pretty badly, I usually like to change things up and go unarmed because that I feel like that to, at least to some degree changes the way that they play and uh, makes me a little less predictable. Yeah, I'm getting more hits in. Like maybe they practiced against um, like art, like the the particular weapons, but fewer people practice um, fighting against unarmed. I usually still, I mean, I usually still lose because unarmed is very has very short range and does not usually do a lot of damage. Nice. Oh, I thought I had that. Oh, nice. Didn't think that would hit. Good job. Yep, easy. I know. I don't care. All right. Well, like I said, that's all I got to say about Artemis. Uh, so until next time, GG, fellow lore nerds.